Excellent. Good, mo good afternoon, everyone. Today we will learn more about magnets. There are many shapes of magnets. Example, bar, half shoe, and ring shape. Oh. This is how a magnet works. And we are the magnetic field. Today we are going to show you how to form a magnetic field. Items required as follows: gears, cardboard, scissors, tin spool, and a pair of magnets. First. If you have no steel wool, you can use paper clips or staples. Firstly, the invisible pole. Cut the steel wool into small threads. Scatter it on to the cardboard. Then, place the two magnets on a table or a flat surface. Then, pull the cardboard and roll it above the magnet. Slowly and gently lower it down until it touches the magnet. As it moves towards the magnet, you will see that the steel thread will start to gather around the magnet. Once it touches, you will see that most of the steel thread has has gathered around the poles of the magnet. This shows that the poles of a magnet is the strongest part of the magnet. Next, the invisible push. It uses the same procedure only that the magnet is turned around so that light poles face each other. There you have it, a nice magnetic field. The difference between the invisible push and the invisible pull is that the, the steel thread on the invisible push are standing up, while the steel thread on the invisible pull are lying down. You can also play with it. Ever see a dancing steel thread? Just move a magnet around and you will see it move. It moving and dancing. Anybody want any anybody wants to try? Okay. Hold the magnet below the cardboard and move it around. You can see that the magnet is moving and dancing. Isn't it fun? Yes. Okay, thank you. Remember that a magnet has two poles, regardless of its shape or size. That's all for today. Have thank you and have fun. Do visit us at YouTube and vote for us. Thank you and goodbye.